going on guys back from messing with this Poland it's the Poland Pro PP4218A42 CC now what I was doing I yanked the top off I wanted to see because I don't I need to get a uh, air fuel adjuster tool for this I don't have one that'll fit it and back it out so you can see that's that's what it looks like they have uh, this one has they're just round and they have ridges on them kind of like what you see on eh, like on a pair of hemostats there you go, put the sound on that. But, uh, so they just have ridges all the way around them I definitely don't have anything that'll currently that'll fit that so I have to pick that up so I figure you know I got it out we'll go ahead and take a look at the fuel line pop the cap off and uh, fuel line was definitely hooked up obviously because it was running but uh, got the fuel filter to come over to where I could see it and it looked like it was laying sideways and I was like you know I was like, what in the world but the fuel line it has that liner this one has a uh, liner in it so I'm sure this is probably the original from Poland and in the middle where it goes through the plastic it's, it's pretty hard you can see where it's discolored and but the problem was where um, the filter hooked up right here it was in the tank and it was actually laying like this so it was totally kinked so I don't know if that was part of the reason it was starving for you know when it get, gets up got up to high RPM it was like it was starving for fuel so I don't know if that was part of the problem it wasn't pulling enough gas to make it seem like the carburetor needed some adjustments or a gasket kit or you know whatever have you so the uh, I'm just going to go ahead and replace that because it's like rock hard right there and uh, you know it was folded over and all that hoopla so we're going to go ahead and put a new fuel line in it since everything's open the other part that was pretty neat was uh, well, different shouldn't say neat was the other polons that I've worked on to get the fuel line to go through I had to uh, I don't have one of the old ones up here but let me show you on this one. This little piece, anyway. But the plastic is so thick on the, the, the uh, wood shark and the wild thing and stuff like that that we was working on. That uh, I'll show you on this old piece. It's, it's a spare to get it to get the fuel line to go through. I actually had to go up the fuel line, clipping it like this, and then. Yeah, you could squeeze it together, slide it down through the plastic, reach through, grab it, and then you can just draw it down through and then cut it at the length you want. Now this one is totally different. Uh, if I can get you in there where you can see it, where the fuel line drops down into the plastic, there's nothing there but a, uh, a rubber grommet. At first I thought it was just a, a piece that the line hooked to. Um, I don't have one set here. One of the nipple pieces like you can use to uh, uh, you know like plugs into your primer when it sets down in there or some of them will have it to where it's uh, just to add another piece of line to or something with little plastic adapters. At first I thought it was, had a, a setup like that. You know that just set in like this. One line clips on here and then on the inside you know the same way just clips on and runs down to your fuel line. thought it was that at first pull on the line it starts sliding through real easy so just draw it out but it's actually just a rubber grommet. I'll try to get it to where let me see if I can get this saw to where it'll set in some light here but uh it's actually one of the better things I've seen from pulling so far as far as putting a fuel line in it uh definitely makes it a little easier Oh, let me get this out of the way. Everything's fairly accessible. So that makes it kind of nice, I guess. Poor, there we go. Ah, come on now. Let me get this stuff moved and I'll show you here. Right there. So all it is is like a rubber grommet. And the line just easily slides straight down through. And then you can hook everything up, you know, once you get it down in there. So, I am, since it's all apart anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, throw a new fuel line in it, since it's this far apart, and then I'll try to track down uh, 
where to get uh, probably Amazon or one of them. I've seen some kits on there before, but I don't know if any of them have one like this. So I'll get on Amazon and see if I can track something down and uh, we'll get us a tool. And then we can adjust everything. Now that, I figured it's, uh, that should be it. Let me make sure this is the one that fits. But it's not honestly too bad to work on. You just have to watch the diameter of your line. So I had the, the first one I looked at, the outer diameter was the same as this, but the inner diameter to fit the nipple on there and fit the air filter, the uh, you know the outer the outer diameter was correct, but the inner diameter was too big. So this one should work. It's the outer diameter is the right size of the old line. And it's got a smaller inner diameter, so it should work. So if you buy, if you run into this problem, you have to buy a kit. Uh, make sure you get the right one. So I've seen this on a few of the other ones. See, it fits, fits nice and tight right on there like it should. So you see, know, it's nice and tight. It's not even all the way on yet. So, but uh, just wanted to show you that. I thought that was pretty neat. Um, these saws come apart fairly easy. And uh, a lot easier to work on than that home light was, but anyway, actually easier than the uh, the other Polands that I done. The other the other one was the Wood Shark and the Wild Thing. So I'll get this all together here. So that I, that's, and I'm telling you, it slides together easy. So if you got one of these, and you got to do fuel lines. It's really not that bad. And the primer, it's not so bad once you take off where the pull string is. It's got like four screws. You take it off, you can access it a little more. I mean, even if you have to do a uh, carb job on it, I mean, everything's right there. It's, you know, it comes apart. You got the rubber grommet there that has to come unhooked, of course. But, it's, you know, everything's like right there. It's able to slide straight out. So, it's definitely, you don't want to be afraid to do it if you have to. I'm hoping this thing will just need uh, air fuel adjustment. And uh, cause I'm trying to save up to get the rebuild kit for that uh, Remington. So I really want to get it together. So it's pretty basic, just like that. I mean, it's, it's feeding. It's a little, little tight at first, but once you get it started, there it goes, right straight down in, no problem. And uh, you know the line fits nice and tight. Shouldn't leak. It's nice and tight in there. Um, but since my line is in one piece, the old line anyway, I'm just going to take it and get a rough guess of uh, what I need in length. Then I'll give myself just like a little bit extra, just to be on the safe side. I'd rather have to trim a little off afterwards than be too short you know then you end up wasting another piece yeah so we should be good so it's like before just get her started and it's got to stay close to the hole if you come up too far and push it just your line just bows over naturally that's it she's going right down in with no problem Should be able to do the same thing over here as far as getting the line to go up onto the carburetor. Get started and just get a little bit closer to, to where it's sticking out. Just give her a little wiggle. Yep, right up on it. That's all there is to it. I was really surprised. I, was, I thought I was going to have to fight with it like those other two. And, uh, so that's it for it. So I remember to put the fuel filter on. I put all this back together. I just had to figure out what I needed for it there for the air fuel adjustment. Because I honestly, it's it was kinked, but it's hard to say. This, the filter's good. You can blow through it real easy. But I highly doubt that 
that kink. Well, I don't know. I shouldn't say I highly doubt, but I I doubt that it was starving for fuel enough to choke it out. I mean, you never know, but I mean, granted, it was kinked. I don't know. But uh, I'll try to track one of those tools down before I fire it up anyway, just to, just in case. Might as well have it. No sense in fighting with it, trying to get it going and not have the tool. All right, I'll hunt the tool down. I'll get all this back together, hunt the tool down, and then once I get it, we'll take it out and see what happens. All right, so I found the carb adjustment tool. <clears throat> Actually, it wasn't a bad deal. You get 10 pieces and a tool bag to carry them in, but tool bag, I'll... I keep everything, all my tools and stuff for these small engines and a little Tupperware thing. <clears throat> Keeps them all together instead of scattered about, but it wasn't bad. It was Amazon, $10.19, ordered it last night and had it uh, this afternoon. Not bad. And for the one that uh, fits this Poland, it, uh, 21, 21 splined. And I believe, yep, perfect fit. So now we'll be able to take it out, throw some fuel back in it, take it out, and um, see if we can adjust this carb to get it to work. Hopefully, hoping that's all it needs. I looked up a carburetor for it just in case, and it was uh, 20 21 dollars, something like that, for a new carb kit. Of course, you know, it's the same way it always comes. Not always, but it comes with um, a full fuel line kit. And, you know, it comes with all the lines, the carburetor plug, the air filters, primer plug. Uh, that kit, I think, actually came with a new air filter, too. But So we don't need all that stuff. So I'm hoping that uh, just playing around with the high-low on it will take care of it. And we'll see. We'll get it out there and play around, see what we got. But the uh, full kit wasn't bad, man. We got 10 different sizes. For ten dollars and some change, comes with a tool kit, little bag if you need it. But uh, try to say all. I never use it. I just got that little little deal there. That I keep them in. That's the way I keep them all together. But uh, we'll get this out there and see what we can do. All right, guys, we're gonna give this a shot. Try to hurry up and get it just starting to get dark and it's like 20 some degrees out. I'm gonna freeze. So I got fuel in it. You're pumped up a few times. Choke. Till the boy gets home to pull on this one. Come on, girl. Oh. Always oh, got a fight. Four. 
Dang, it's chilly. I'm gonna keep knocking the uh, off switch up. When the world is doing that, but. Oh, anyway, sitting here playing around. Just give them both just a, just a little turn just to get it started. On, choke. At least idle. Whew.
go. I'm gonna do much more. The chain's just definitely too tight. Really, it's getting oil and everything, but uh, it's just too tight on the bar. I'm gonna put that in my pocket before I lose it. But thankfully, an adjustment done it. Uh, for the most part, uh, reality, I need to loosen the chain back up. Some of it is just too tight, and then uh, hit it again. So, I mean, it definitely runs. I got lucky and uh, just needs carbs good, so just needed a uh, you know, just a little bit of tweaking here and there on the low high. Uh, so, it's running. I just don't want to run like I was saying, the chart or the chain is definitely too tight on the bar. Even though it's getting oil, it's dragging I mean, like really, really bad. So it's definitely too tight. So I don't want to ruin the bar. <clears throat> and uh, and that's some digging around. I'm thinking about saving up. So I'm wanting to save up and get that carb kit for that Remington. And I might go ahead and just, because I got the two spare chains that came with it for an 18. So I think I'm just going to uh, pick up a new 18 inch bar and save this 20 inch bar for something else. And, uh, Throw that on it with one of the chains that the guy gave me. And, uh, man, it's chilly. So, once I do that, I'll get it back out and, uh, you know, get the chain, you know, the right bar on it, good chain, get the tension set right, and then, uh, hit it again with the adjustment tool, tune it in real good. But, uh, man, that made a world of difference right there. Thank goodness I didn't need a carb. <coughs> And uh, but uh, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. It's definitely a runner. It's like I was saying in the video before this one with this Poland, it was uh, <clears throat> well, you guys seen the bar from where the guy dropped it and, and uh, bent the bar all to hell, ruined the chain. Uh, at 25 bucks, I and mean, I couldn't pass it up. You got the saw, you know, the saw, two spare chains, the case, the multi use tool to work on it, two cycle oil, and I was saying the case, the case alone is going to cost you that or more around here just for an empty case. So we definitely got a winner out of it. And, uh, <clears throat> well, kind of a winner, I guess. It needs a bar. The tools I definitely needed for other stuff, so I wouldn't worry about that. And had a piece of line. Same filter it was on. The filter was good. But uh, I'll leave it at that. I don't want to drag this video out any longer than I have to. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, this is actually our 200th video. I didn't realize we had that many of them out there. Of course, it's not all saws and small engines. It's a bunch of random stuff. But uh, we had the channel going and then it set for a long time. And then uh, started playing around with stuff again. So a couple more subscribers. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Oh, that's a brand new plug. I'm not hearing the weather. And uh, with that... I'll leave it at this. This is that Poland Poland Pro 42cc PP4218A. She definitely runs good. Well, now anyway. But thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna get back in the house. It's getting dark. It's 20, like 27 degrees out here, freezing balls. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to new subscribers. And remember, guys, we're still trying to get the channel to grow some. So any help would definitely be appreciated. And uh, with that, I shall catch you at the next one. And uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer. Thanks for watching.